Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen and today is going to be my top 10 favorite Christmas DIYs of last year. I came up with some really unique ideas and watching them back is almost really intimidating to me. So I hope that they can be just as good this year as they were last year. I know I have a lot of new subscribers since last Christmas DIYs, so I just wanted to give you guys a whole recap of my top 10 favorites. So let's roll into them right now. Hold up, I am First one was an inspiration through LT Commodity, the magazine. So you'll need a small little bucket from the Dollar Tree and then you'll need a larger one. So it just depends on how big your, you want your reindeer. I'm not sure on the sizes of these. And then this solid spoon. And this is going to be like the neck in holding the two buckets together. You're also going to need some of these push pins. You could definitely use tick, tick tacks. I was going to say tick tacks, tacks if you need. And then this antique pewter, this forged hammer spray paint. I love this. It makes everything super galvanized and it's so easy. And then you'll need some floral from Dollar Tree as well. This is what I had, so that's what I used. Um, I don't recommend getting a tin like this because I wanted to take this witch off. This does not come off easy. And when you get some of it off, um, it just leaves like some really bad like sharp edges um, like that. So definitely just get like a plastic little bucket. And then I'm going to be spray painting it with a pewter. Um, I just this just goes on really nice. You only need about one coat of this and it lasts for quite a while. So I love this. Um, so this is what it looks like when it is done being spray painted. Um, I also did the spoon as well, but I just did not show that. So I'm taking some good solid like duct tape. I know this isn't going to look as pretty on the inside as what people would want, but it's all going to get covered eventually anyways. So I just took the bottom or the top of the spoon, the spoon part you eat out of, put it on the bottom, duct taped it. And then for the top, you are going to have to bend it so you can add the other bucket to this one. You will also have to use duct tape. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? Here I did add a small wood piece to the front just because it was kind of top heavy and the spoon kept wiggling around so I didn't want a little gap right there. And I'm just adding a candlestick so I can finish doing this a DIY. And this is what it looks like before everything is added onto it. And it's already kind of coming together. Um, I would definitely recommend to just use like a smaller top piece for this or like a smaller bucket for the face um, just because it's, I think it's a little wide. Um, then I'm just going in with the Waverly Wax and Antique and then just kind of blotting it all along to look a little distressed and rustic. If you have sponges, they work better. This is obviously all I had on hand, so that is what I did. This has to be one of my favorite DIYs I did last year just because it was so out of the box and I was really surprised what I came up with. This is a thick piece of felt. This is from Arteza. And then I am just drawing out some ears for the reindeer. And then I also just ended up spray painting it with a... Um, pewter color as well just so everything matched and then I'm just gonna like pinch the bottom together and then hot glue them on in Christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time right here my husband was just drilling holes into the top of the tin um this was metal so it's a lot harder it would have been way easier with plastic uh, but I just wanted to do that so I was able to put the antlers in. That's what you want to call them. Um, I just picked up some sticks out of my backyard and used this copper color by the Rust-Oleum and spray painted the sticks and then I just used hot glue. Really good. Uh, um, <laughs> you can never have too much hot glue to try to get these to stay and like I said I just took the ears and then hot glued those as well. The 
I also spray painted the push pins with the aged copper color and I just took the little backs off and hot glued them so we didn't have to like push them through or anything like that. And then now I'm just adding some rocks in the bottom here. I had Presley helping me on this day. You guys have seen her for quite a few years now helping me out on videos. And then I'm just going to add floral foam and add all the floral pieces in. I end up adding some of the boxwood from Walmart as well because I did not have enough to fill this bucket. And I think this is super, super cute. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh. DIY is one of my favorites. I'm just using two Betty Crocker Tupperware bowls from the Dollar Tree. You'll need the larger one and then the smallest ones I could find. And these came in a two pack. So once I pulled all those out, I just took some hot glue and glued the smaller Tupperware bowl to the bottom one. Then you'll need some nautical rope. You'll need about four to five bunches of this. So if you can pick this up at the Dollar Tree, if you can find some on Amazon for cheaper, do that. And then I end up using hot glue on every single row of this nautical rope because I wanted it to stay since the bowls were really slippery. Um, the middle did not, um, you are going to see gaps in the middle, like between the neck, which is going to be the snowman's neck. Doesn't matter because you're just going to be adding a scarf in there anyway. So that is totally okay if there is a gap in the middle. Using this white and acrylic paint by Apple Barrel and I just watered it down a little bit with water and then I am just adding it to the snowman. I don't think I added enough water because I was kind of running low so I kind of just started dry brushing it a little bit just to cover it but it didn't have to be completely covered white. I kind of liked the nautical rope color sticking out just a little bit. Oh, oh, and Once again, you'll be using these push pins, and then I have these little floral foam balls from Dollar Tree, this fleece scarf, and then you'll also need some felt, and you just need a small piece of felt. And then I am just taking these little foam balls, and I am going to be cutting the scarf up. And I think I used 9 to 12 squares, and then I just took some hot glue and glued the scarf onto the foam balls because these are going to be the snowman's earmuffs. Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be. And I just used the push pins once again. I actually kept the little pin on the back and I just spray painted these black for the eyes. And then I ended up just cutting a little triangle for the nose, and that was really easy. So I didn't really have to show that because it's just a little triangle. And then I am also going to be using some twine to make the smiley face on the snowman. I just cut a piece out, kept putting it against it to see how I liked it, took some hot glue and glued it to the snowman. Heart, cut more of the fleece scarf from the Dollar Tree and I just decided to wrap it around the snowman. It took me a little bit to figure out what, how I wanted it, but I finally managed to do that. I found these little pipe cleaners from Dollar General. They have them at the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to be wrapping twine all around it. This is going to be for the earmuffs. And then I also do the same thing for the arms. Hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you Doesn't matter it is Christmas. The cleaner was wrapped in twine. I just took some hot glue and glued it to where I wanted the earmuffs. little foam balls look like once they are covered with a scarf and I'm just going to be gluing them to the bottom of the little pipe cleaner. You could definitely cut these in half. It might have worked a little bit better but I like the way this looked so I didn't mind um, but yeah like I said you could definitely cut the foam balls in half so they kind of go against his face more than sticking out but regardless super super cute. 
And then now this is where I'm just taking the pipe cleaner, figuring out how long I want it. I'm going to cut it, wrap it around to make it look like little sticks, and then wrap twine around it once again. Now this Christmas, we're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. Dance, dance, dance. All night long, we're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. are also from the Dollar Tree. I found them up front at the counter a couple years ago and then you can also find them sometimes by the sock area um, once in a while. I haven't seen them in quite a while but every now and then you see a couple so I'm just taking some buttons and gluing them on the bottom just to give it a little bit more uh, accessories. And that's all I did for this snowman. He is so stinking cute. Thing you'll need is this canvas it is 10 inches long you'll need two of these and these are five inches long you'll need these storage containers in this four pack and they are 2.1 inches round you will also need two of these crates and these are in the craft aisle you're going to take one of the five inch canvases and cut it down to two and three quarter inches you can always use a hacksaw or some good wire cutters if you don't have a saw you're also going to be taking apart these crates. One of them you're just going to be ripping a whole side apart, just like so, and then you'll be ripping off the bottom piece. You will be cutting one of those down, and I will show you that in a little bit. So you're just going to take one of the smaller 5-inch canvases, get some wood glue and hot glue. This worked really well for me, and then I just put it right on the top. I have the ones where it has the little see-through home, so I just covered that because I did not want that showing. I did have some glue peeking out. No big deal. You can just wipe the wood glue right off with your finger, and then you can sand it down at a later time. So this is what it looks like when it is cut. You're going to notice that there is a hole in the back side of the smaller one. Like I said, this one is cut down to two and three quarters of an inch, and this looks so good when everything is done. So you're going to tell there is a back hole in here. I just took the other piece from the cut part and just ripped it off. And I just took some hot glue and just glued that down so everything was covered up. Making our Christmas memories. And once the glue is dry, like I said, I just take some sandpaper and sand everything down to the best that I possibly could. And then once that was done, this is what your chalk should look like. And I'm just going to take some Waverly chalk. Here I'm just taking the Waverly chalk paint in white and painting this. This is just going to act as a primer because I want my truck to be red. So much lately, I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you, so I'm letting go. All right, and then I'm gonna be using the Crimson Red Color by Arteza. This is my favorite red color for Christmas. I used this so much last year. And yeah, I cannot wait to use more of it. But seriously, like this is my favorite red color. I think it just looks so, so good. Now I'm just drawing on the windows and the lights and I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in white once again. I have pretty shaky hands so this does not always work as best as I would hope for just because I cannot stay in the lines and I cannot make a straight line to save my life. But uh, overall I think this turned out super cute. Everything but you these are the good times with you baby this year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be 
making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, oh. la da 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 oh oh, oh. la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. And then right here, you are just gonna be cutting these crates in half and then gluing them together. I know that some of it wasn't in half, so you're gonna use like three on the bottom, two on the bottom with the little sticks, or if that's how you wanna to try to like figure this one out. And this fit actually really, really well. I was super impressed. Used some wood glue, some little clamps that I had from Dollar Tree, and clamped them down until they dried. And then once that was completely dry, I just took some Waverly Wax and Antique and painted the crate, and this is gonna um, be the back of the truck. And then all I do is to water it down to make like a nice stain. You just take a little bit of water and some of this wax and mix it. And yeah, there you go. So it's a little drippy, but it's not super thick. So you don't have to use a whole lot. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home. And once the little crates were dry, I just took some hot glue and glued it to the back of the truck. And I'm adding a little handle on. I tried adding a few different things. Um, and then these little containers from Dollar Tree, once again, took some black spray paint and just spray painted them. And I just hot glued the wheels to the truck. This is an older video, so you guys are going to see. Um, I have like writing on some of this just from previous videos. And then I'm just adding some more to the wheels. And then I ended up actually changing this color over to a gray color instead of white. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. And then once it's done, you can decorate it however you want. I found these little miniature Christmas trees from Dollar Tree last year, but it would have looked super cute with lights or some garland, um, just a little bit more, I think. But um, this is super cute, and I was so excited with the way this one turned out, and everything was Dollar Tree items. A cinnamon stick Christmas tree box and like I said the writing is from last year on my videos you'll just need one of these little boxes cinnamon sticks and these were from Dollar Tree they were actually in like the baking section so hopefully they have some this year too because these are really fun to use and then I just took hot glue and glue the cinnamon sticks all the way around the box on all four sides And then I just added some ribbon. This was actually, I think, from Dollar General last year, and I just wrapped it around the center and took some hot glue and glued the ribbon. I was kind of plain so I wanted to add a little deer or reindeer in the center this was also from Dollar General but I know they have them at Dollar Tree or something very similar but Dollar General has some really cute ornaments um, so I hope they do this year too I've seen a few out already and they are super cute this tree is from Dollar Tree I know they always look super sad so I decided to like throw in some pics and like pick clips they had from the Dollar Tree as well and like I said this is last year's video so I'm assuming they will have all of these this year as well. I feel like Dollar Tree is really repetitive when it comes to certain things, so I'm sure they will have all of this stuff this year too. Oh, 
So I'm taking this flower and garden bucket. One of my little things that broke off the side because I dropped the vacuum on this DIY, but I tried spray painting it. This was awful. It's cold, it's drippy, it's terrible. So I ended up just going back with some Waverly white chalk paint and painting over this. And then I am also be using these wood numbers and some stencils from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just gonna be stenciling in snowballs and then I'm gonna take a five from the wooden numbers to write five cents and then once the stencils are done I decide to go in with a black sharpie marker and because I really thought this was my best bet using a sharpie marker I did not think that I would be able to paint these small letters in and I know I would have messed up so the sharpie was my go-to at this point and the paint was a little wet I don't know if it was wet or it just was I don't know but it wasn't working out for my sharpie at all but I kind of like the little distress look that this had on the bucket and then I just took the number five from the wooden letters and I ended up painting it before I actually did this with this pavement color because for some reason I couldn't find the black color. And then I just took a stencil brush from the Dollar Tree and I just kind of blotched paint on this and I really like the way this turned out. I think it looks like rusty and old and rustic and distressed. I guess it doesn't really look rusty because rust is not black, but I like the way this turned out. And then as the paint was still wet, I decided just to add the number five on because I got super impatient with this DIY and just made snowballs five cents on here. I got this crafter snow from Hobby Lobby last year. I think it was like 20 cents. It was so cheap. These foam balls from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking a bowl and I am some Mod Podge and I'm some Mod Podge, so I just said, and Mod Podge and I'm just Mod Podging these foam balls and I'm just gonna dip them and roll them all around in the snow and then this took forever. I ran out of Mod Podge and I was like, what am I going to do with this? 98% of these balls I actually used a spray adhesive. Yes, it was so messy. Yes, it was stinky. Yes, it was awful. But I wanted to get this done. So spray adhesive saved the DIY. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. I think these snowballs are so cute. And if you do not find the snow at Hobby Lobby, I know that they have snow or of some sort at the Dollar Tree. Oh, oh, da, 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. This one is one of my favorite Christmas DIYs. You'll need four of these little chalkboards and you are just going to take some hot glue and glue them all together so it looks like a window. adding some of these craft sticks for some reinforcement so this does not fall apart. This is a wreath I reuse. It's just a smaller wreath form from Dollar Tree and then I just wrap some burlap around it, boxwood from Walmart, and I just put that all around the wreath. Little red color berries were also from Dollar Tree and I just cut them and then I started wrapping them around the wreath once again and using hot glue just like I did with the boxwood. I'm going to be using this snow Christmas ornament from Dollar General and putting it in the center of this wreath. And I am just hot gluing everything down because this is exactly how I wanted it. So I'm going to take the hot glue, put it on the back of the wreath, put it right onto my chalkboard window, and then I'm going to add the ornament in the center. This 
one is another red truck. You're going to need these puzzles and then two of these little golf football games. These are in the kids section or the toy section. And I'm just going to be gluing two of them together. And I kind of just flipped them over so they didn't have holes in them. And then this is going to be the base of the red truck. And then you're going to need a little tumbling tower blocks. And you are going to be making your top of your truck out of here. So I have four Jenga blocks and they fit pretty well along there. And then I'm going to be adding two rows of four. And then I am going to be going on to the back side and adding three rows of four. just to make the little back part. I am just putting the Jenga blocks on their top and that you can see that they don't fit, but I still think that this ended up looking super cute. So it didn't really matter either way if it fit or there was a tiny little gap in the back side. it didn't matter. And then I just use hot glue to glue all the Jenga blocks together. This was probably one of the trickiest parts just because you want the little circles to match up so you don't have a little wobbly truck. So you always just want to make sure that it matches up and this is what I was doing and then I was moving them around if I had to. And then I'm not sure what I did right there but I want to say I maybe spray painted the wheels and they didn't turn out so then I'm just going in with Waverly chalk paint in white once again and then I'm going to be just using it as a primer. Mars black and I'm not sure what color is that rose matter this are also Arteza I like using these colors just because you only need one coat with Arteza paint it's absolutely amazing and that's why I use it constantly because you only need one coat so the base is going to be red and then I'm going to be painting the wheels black I So I'll end up going back in with a brown color to paint the back of the truck brown. ones are some of my favorites. This is my Buffalo Check Fabric Trees and then I just printed out a free printable and you'll need some little wood slices, placemats, and then wooden dowels and I'm just taking the back side of the placemats and tracing with a sharpie around the tree and you will, I am actually made three different sizes of these but you will need two of each size, cut them out and then you will have like the base part of your little buffalo pillow placemat trees. So this is what it looks like and then I'm going to be taking hot glue and putting them all around the tops, leaving the bottom open so you're able to add stuffing. Here is a huge hack for me. Um, use spider webbing for stuffing. So if you're going to make pillows with Dollar Tree items, it is way cheaper getting the spider webbing after Halloween. Nobody buys it, so it's always 90% off. So you can pay 10 cents a bag for this, which is way cheaper than getting like actual pillow stuffing. And I think it does the exact same thing. And then once you have it stuffed, you are going to glue the bottom, but you're going to leave the tree trunk part out because this one I messed up here. Ended up having to redo this one, um, but you want to leave a little tree trunk in because you're going to be putting the wooden dowel inside there and then gluing the wooden dowel inside. Together, I just pinched it off and then these little wood slices these are from Arteza they're supposed to be kind of ornaments so they had little holes in them with the Dollar Tree wood dowels fit perfectly and this is my set of three trees and I think these are adorable
like I said, don't mind the writing. These are from different videos, but I'm using this truck. This was at the Dollar Tree last year. And mine fell apart, but I just end up hot gluing it all back together anyways, using a Dollar Tree sign as well. And I just flipped it over and used the Waverly chalk paint in white and painted the whole backside white. I also used some of the wooden letters from Dollar Tree and this says fresh cut I think is what I end up using yeah fresh cut and then I just used a black acrylic paint and painted these And then before I glue anything together, I always try to lay everything out to make sure everything is going to fit. So this is what I'm doing here. And then once I know it's going to work, I grab my hot glue, glue it down to the sign. And then I'm going to end up adding my wooden letters to the top. This one is one of the sleds from Dollar Tree. You are also going to need some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. This is like the shiplap style and I just flipped it around, traced out the sled. So I was able to cut that out and just glue it right to the sled. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah, spend my time running so Mod Podge, so I'm just smoothing it out with a credit card. I prefer a glue stick nowadays instead of Mod Podge. It's just easier. And then I'm just using some berries and pine cones from the Dollar Tree. I kind of just tear apart floral arrangements and use those. And I am just putting this right on the top. Found keeping people please but this is my favorite holiday I'm gonna use another one of these small wreath forms and some of this garland and I'm just gonna be wrapping the garland all the way around the wreath it's a chance to start over new. and then once that was done I took a ton of high glue around the wreath and then flipped it over and glued it right to the center of the sled and then once that was done, this little ornament also came from Dollar General. I told you they had super cute ornaments. And like I said, I've seen some this year so far that are super cute that I've already picked up. These are little berry picks. And I ended up just cutting these apart just so I can glue them into the wreath because I thought the wreath looked really, really plain like this. And these berries match this ornament super, super well. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 from last year. I will also be having 10 brand new Christmas DIYs coming for you this week as well. So you guys are going to have tons of Christmas inspiration already. I know it's early, but you have to get everything from Dollar Tree while you can before it is gone. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and